Welcome to Blueprint Career Development's TAE program. This presentation covers the topic of contextualization. What is contextualization? Contextualization is how we modify learning, assessment or resources so that it relates directly to a work environment and or is relevant to the learner. Vocational training is focused on meeting the needs of the workplace, so the better our contextualization, the better the workplace outcome. Examples of contextualization. There are many ways of contextualizing, and they can apply to learning materials, workplace equipment or environments, methods of assessment, workplace requirements and learner needs, to name a few. Let's explore a number of these. When designing a course, we can choose elective units of competency or UOC that best meet workplace needs. When we design our training and assessment strategy or TAS, we can select elective units within the packaging rules. This can make the course relevant to specific work roles or workplaces. As an example, we could focus the 11 electives for BSB 20115 on customer service and using digital technology. We can change the context of generic learning material to relate to the learner's specific situation or workplace. Using the previous example, if I chose the unit BSB CUS 201 deliver a service to customers, I could make the resources specific to a real estate office where contact is face-to-face, -face, by phone and by email, or to a retail store where contact is mostly face-to-face. -face. We can change the material or assessments to relate to a specific industry or organization. As in the previous example, materials can be specifically targeted to an industry, for example, a retail store but they can also be targeted to a specific organization, for example, Coles. We can change the material to meet updated legislation, policies or procedures and industry current or best practice. Sometimes there are legislative changes that impact the workplace but are not yet catered for in the unit of competency, for example, new workplace bullying and harassment definitions. Workplace policies and procedures can be changed as a result of new practices or technology. For example, in restaurants, iPads are often used to take customer orders or to book in before being seated. Sometimes it is simply because industry practice has moved far quicker than the training package, which is why training packages are reviewed regularly. We can also change the material to suit the learner. This may be at a job or organizational level, the LLN level of a student or it could be how the materials or assessments are sequenced. Learners already in the workplace could have their materials and assessments adjusted to meet the needs of that workplace. Learners can have their materials and assessments adjusted to suit LLN or learning style needs. Learners can have the normal assessment process sequenced to suit workplace or availability needs. Contextualization is an important part of the VET training process. Making the training targeted to relevant industry, workplaces and learners, means better work outcomes.